Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make your very own private server for Minecraft 1.6.1 or any future versions of Minecraft. So there's two different ways of making a server. First off, you could do a port forwarding way. So if you don't want to use a special program called Hamachi, you could make your very own server port forward. So if you guys want a tutorial on that, links in description or click on the annotations around this video so you guys could check out how to make a port forward server, which requires no programs, no nothing, and all your friends need is just an IP which is very simple but in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a private server using a software called Hamachi there's only one downside to this tutorial I mean not to this tutorial I mean there's only one downside to Hamachi which is everyone needs Hamachi in order to join your server but it's okay it's okay we could all manage that you know just download the software it's very simple it works for Mac and Linux no I don't I'm not sure about Linux but it works for Mac and Windows so I'm gonna show you guys all the downloads and everything that you need in order to start yourself your server so the reason why I'm making this tutorial is because I found a comment which got about 24 thumbs up saying Steven you should do a how to make a server tutorial. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own server and let's go ahead and begin this. So what you're going to need in this tutorial is Minecraft. You could either have a legit version or not, but just get yourself Minecraft. You're going to need a Minecraft underscore server 1.6.1.exe or jar. So in order to get that download. Uh, you guys will be linked to my description where it'll take you here to minecraft.net slash downloads and uh, what you do is just scroll down and right here says mul uh, multiplayer server and this is for windows minecraft underscore 1.6.1.exe and mac users don't download here this is just for windows now for mac users os and all that stuff right here minecraft underscore server 1.6.1.jar remember that if your server is modded it will still work it's because, uh, you know, it's it's simple. What Hamachi is doing is it's going to open up your ports so your friends could be able to join back and forth. So anyways, just download the ones that you need. Windows is EXE and, uh, you know, Mac is .jar. So get the downloads. And once you get the download for the server, just drag it here to the desktop. And don't run it. Don't run it quite yet. But leave it here in the desktop. And the next thing you're going to need is Hamachi itself. I've already installed it. The reason why I installed it early was because uh, when I went ahead and made a tutorial earlier today, um, I ran the server and uh, I ran this installation and it kind of like stopped my recording so I had to make another uh, video and this is my second take of making a how to make a server and stuff like that. Anyways guys, if you guys also leave around let's say 500 likes, I'm going to show you guys on how to do this for Cube World. So if you guys have Cube World, I, I will show you guys how to make a you know private server for Cube World. So if this gets like 500 likes or something, then I'll make a tutorial on that too. So yeah, using Hamachi, or I'm going to show you guys how to port forward too, so that'd be cool. Anyways, get Hamachi, and this is the software itself right there. I'm going to show you guys how to get this, and that is it. So once you get the server, drag it to the desktop, and let's just get Hamachi. In order for you to get Hamachi, you have to go to this website, which will be linked in my description, and also you're going to get this, the unmanaged version. So uh, the only way to download this is if you click right here, conditions of use, so click there. And for Mac users, here's your version download right there of the unmanaged. So you click here and it'll download it instantly. And here is the unmanaged version. Just click here, download after you uh, check, uh, checked off uh, you know, conditions of use. Click download and it will download and this is how it's going to look like. It's going to look like a software installation icon. So you just double click this and you say yes to everything. And once it tells you um, create a desktop shortcut, go ahead and do that because here's the desktop shortcut of Log Me in Hamachi. So another thing to note is when you first install Log Me in Hamachi, it's going to give you a warning. What network do you want to set Hamachi as? Make sure that you set it as a home network, not a public network, not a work network, a home network. So anyways, once you have done that, the best way to verify that you have installed it correctly is to go here to start, you go here to control panel, and you go here to network and internet, click there, and you go here to network and sharing center, click there, and here is log me in Hamachi. You see this? It says connection Hamachi, and it is a home network. You see this? It is not a work network. It is not a public network. Leave it as a home network. To change it, you click here to home network, just in case it's a work network. You just make sure you click there and click close. Just make sure it shows a little house. So it's a home network. Anyways, once you have installed Hamachi correctly, this is the icon. Double click Hamachi, it's gonna show off as offline. And once you click, uh, like once you press this power button to turn it on, it's gonna be logging in and probing and all that stuff. And it's gonna give you two options. It's gonna tell you to join an existing network or create a network. What you want to do is create yourself a network. So right after this is done probing, I will show you guys how to make yourself a uh, 
you know, a little, uh, what is it called, a network. So it's also going to ask you what name do you want to keep the Hamachi network. Just leave it as SCM owns PC or whatever you want to name it. Uh, this is the actual name of my user, which is SCM owns. So if yours is like Danny, it's going to say Danny and PC. All right. So you don't have to worry about the name of this. Uh, just leave it to whatever you want. It's going to say what name do you want to set. Just click OK on everything. So anyways, uh, it's going to give you two options once you installed Hamachi correctly. It's going to say add an, an existing network or join an existing network. So create your own network. It's going to say create a new network. So cl uh, create a new network wherever the tab says. And it's going to say network ID. This is the actual network name. So I'm going to call it SCM owns SCM owns server 45. So anyways, you could create it uh, with a custom name. So if you want it like Billy's server, then call it that. It has to be unique. So here is the network ID. I called it SCM owns server. And now what I'm doing is make myself a password. Remember that your friends have to have log me and how much you installed. And when they install it, they have to join an existing network. This is the network that we're making. So we're going to make an existing network right now. The password for my network is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Now the confirmed password is going to be one, two, three, four, five. It's the same thing and click create. So now that you've created yourself your very own network, you can only have up to five friends per network. So that means that it's ideal for cube world for private servers. And it is also ideal for Minecraft if you're doing a private server and you only have like four friends. So only five friends could join your network. And that is it. So tell them to go here to network and join an existing network and put in the network ID, which is mine is SCMO server 45. They put that and the password is one, two, three, four, five, and you click join. So tell your friends to download Hamachi and that is it. Remember that you have to have this uh, system server requirements, which is at least two gig of RAM. So if your computer does not have two gigs of RAM, then you might actually crash uh, your game because you don't have enough RAM. So if you have 500 megabytes worth of RAM, then you might lag very bad. So make sure that you have like at least two gigs. If your friend has two gigs, then tell him to host a server and tell him to make the network and all that stuff. Anyways, now that we have installed Hamachi correctly, we're good to go. This is it. That was everything Hamachi. The hardest step was Hamachi, just to let you guys know. Anyways, now that you're done with Hamachi, what you need to do is make yourself a new servers folder for your server. So I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and I'm going to call it SCM owns server. All right. So now that I made a server folder, what you're going to do is simply drag over the S, uh, I mean, the my Minecraft underscore server 1.6.1 and straight into there. And now it's inside my service folder. If I open this up and run the application, then it will generate a lot of folders. So double click the application, click run. And now that the server is running, all this new files are going to start to generate and just wait for this to say done. So now that the server now has said done, now we could stop the server. All we have to do is just run it once to generate all the files. So spell stop and press enter. Now it's going to be saving all its chunks. And now that the server is gone, now what we have to worry about is the server properties. Okay. So you're going to double click the server properties of your server. All right, double click that. And now it's going to say right here, look for server IP equals. So this is the IP that how much it gives you. So in order to get the IP, how much it gives you, you go up here to all these numbers right here next to the power button. You click on that and it's going to say copy IPv4 address. So copy the IPv4 address, not the IPv6, copy the V4. Go here to server uh, IP in your server properties and press control V to paste it in or you could press right click paste. And this is the IP Hamachi gives you. It's a cover up of your very own IP. Now you could share this with your friends uh, as, as long as they have Hamachi installed. So tell your friends to directly connect to this IP. All right. So now that you have placed the server IP in the correct location, you can mess around with all the following other settings, such as PVP. You could turn it off if you want max players. You can only have up to five anyway, so you could set it at five. Uh, here's the message of the day. So you could have it saying SCM owned server. And when they log in, it should say SCM owned server around there. Anyways, guys, that is it. All you have to do is install Hamachi right here is a bunch of numbers. Click copy, go here to server IP and just paste it right in. That is it. So once you're done, click file, save, exit off the server properties and run the server once again, click run. And there you go. So now that you have done that, the server should be able to run. If I'm a, if I minus everything, open up Minecraft. And if I log in, then I should be able to play. But here's one thing, guys. Since Minecraft is kind of weird right now with the new launcher, it's going to tell me to play offline mode. If you play offline mode, you won't be able to connect to your server. So let me play offline mode just to show you an example. So now that I'm in offline mode, if I go here to multiplayer and join my server, it's going to give me a warning saying failed to log in, bad login. So the reason why it does that is because my Minecraft is supposedly out of date and it, it has not like you know, launched correctly. So uh, the thing is, 
if you notice it says play offline it does not say play so um, not sure why the launcher is really weird uh, I, I am playing with the default uh, profile so not sure what's going on there but what we could do is we could set our server as an offline server for you know cracked users you know what I mean um, this is what we're gonna do so stop the server stop stop the server what we're gonna do is go back to our server folder which is SCM on server double click that go back to the server properties double click the server properties all right, so now that we're inside the server properties, here's online mode. We're going to change this to false. That pretty much means that you don't have to have a verified Minecraft user account to log into the server, so it won't kick you out. So let's change offline mode to false. And now that we've done that, click file save on, on uh, offline mode. Click change it to false. File save, exit off, run the server again, click run. Now log into Minecraft, and if it says play offline mode, then play offline mode. And uh, now you're able to play on the server with a unverified user uh, account. So that means if you have a cracked user, you could play on this server. But since you know you're only going to give your uh, friends this trustworthy Hamachi uh, network, then yeah. So you don't have to worry about people joining your server as long as they're inside this network. Then they can only join. Anyways, if I go here to multiplayer, now I can connect to the server without any problems. There I am. I am now inside the server, and that is basically on how to make yourself a private server. Either if you're a crack user or a regular Minecraft user, that is basically it. It's so simple. So I would recommend to change the offline mode, uh, the online mode, I mean, to false because uh, sometimes you have to play Minecraft offline for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. You don't have to change the online mode if you don't want to. And remember, if you guys leave about like 400 likes or 200 likes, if anything, you know, just leave a like if they really helped out but i will make a tutorial on how to install this for uh, cube world and stuff like that so you guys could be playing cube world with all your friends in a private network which is pretty awesome another thing is if you guys are interested of making this a port forward server where you don't uh, have to tell your friends to install log me and hamachi and have the program up and all that stuff then you could also port forward your server links in the description or click on the annotations above so anyways guys, that is basically it. It was very simple to install the server. I did this in like six minutes. I'm not sure how long, actually 12 minutes. Anyways, I'm gonna quit the game and hopefully you guys understand like the tutorial. If not, then be sure to check out my help forums, post a topic if you got lost, if anything. And also um, tweet me if you can't really get this working. I'll try my best to guide you and tell you if you watch the tutorial correctly. Slow down the video, replay it again if you really want to. And thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.